Hello guys, welcome to the first video on PHP programming tutorials for beginners. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to PHP. So, first question comes into mind is what is PHP and uh, what is uh, PHP stands for, right? So, PHP is an acronym for Hypertext Preprocessor and it's an open source server side scripting language that means whenever you make some website you need a server to host your website and php is a server side scripting language that means uh, it can interpret your pages and serve your pages to the client uh, on the basis of the request of the client i will show you a brief uh, or how php work, works in the later slides but yeah it's an open source server side scripting language right and why we use php because php is a strong scripting language which can generate dynamic web pages and it can even uh, integrate with uh, the database most of the database uh, like mysql or sql server or any other popular language so that gives us the functionality to make our pages dynamic now what is the difference between static and dynamic pages static pages are just HTML pages with no functionality you will be able to see just a text there or you will be able to just click a URL and you will be able to go to next page but you if you want more dynamic features for example uh, in uh, email service you want to enter your username and password and on the basis of uh, your username and password you want to give some messages for example your username and password is wrong then uh, you want to show the user that your username and password is wrong and please try again or otherwise if the username and password is correct you want to redirect your page to the uh, to the other uh, authorized page right so this functionality which is dynamic web pages is provided by php now php script resides between reserved php tags that enables php to embed php script within html pages that we will see later because but yeah it has predefined tags so that that you know that whatever you write in between those predefined tag will be a php code right so furthermore php is an integrated language scripts are passed at runtime rather than compile time okay so it's an interpreted language which uh, or script which pass your uh, your pages on the runtime rather than on compile time okay so if you want to you know compile your uh, your program at uh, run, or at compile time it will not compile or, or it will not give you the result it will only give you the result when you uh, want to see this result on the browser for example okay and it's executed server side that we will see in from the uh, diagram i will show you in a moment and source code not visible by the client so if you want to see the source code because it's a server side language you will not be able to see the code of php from the client side okay and various built-in function allows for fast development so php has uh, various uh, functions which are built in and which will make your programming really fast and it's compatible with most popular da databases that i have already told you now in order to uh, see more um, information on php you can go to php.net php 
net and this is the official website of uh, php and here you will be able to see much more information on php and the very good feature of this uh, website is it has documentation uh, which is very extensive and it's available in different languages so for example you want to use english and there is a very extensive um, extensive manual here and you can search for some function which you uh, want to uh, know about for example i want to search for echo function then i will just uh, just search for that and you will be able to find all the documentation on this keyword in here in the documentation so this is a very good place to you know uh, know what function is used for what and what is the functionality of what uh, function or keyword okay so just if you have time just visit this website and you will be able to find much more on php now we continue with our uh, presentation now this is how php works so i already told you that php is a server side scripting language so this there it will be a server where your website will be hosted and all your web pages will be uh, stored there and there also PHP resides and PHP is just like an interpreter so on the basis of your client request your server will uh, you know your PHP will interpret the values from the database or mail servers or files from from file system and it will uh, take this uh, file system or database value interpret those values and then once again it will give the response to the client so it's a server side interpreter uh, which can be used for databases mail servers or systems okay so this is how you can use php now what are the popular site using php if you want to see that you can go to the wikipedia page and search for programming language used in most popular website and in this list you will be able to find here that facebook uses php with mysql and yahoo uses php with mysql and wikipedia itself uses php with mysql and wordpress also uses php with mysql so one of the world's most popular website uses php for uh, their server side operations uh, in your website right so it's a very good uh, uh, you know language and worth learning language uh, to learn right so this is a small little presentation on introduction of php in the next video i'm going to show you how to you know set up the environment for php so that we will be able to develop uh, the php uh, website or via php server so that's it for this video and in the coming videos stay tuned and keep keep watching these videos and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now